Hey family, welcome to I Love Me, Me, Me. Thanks again for coming back for another episode. So today we are going to discuss fighting fairly. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. So fighting fairly. How can we do that? <laughs> today I'm going to give you four ways to know how you can fight fairly. Okay, number one. Go ahead and just take a deep breath. When an argument or anything surfaces, go ahead and take a deep breath and a timeout. So this could be where you need to take a walk, where you might need to read to calm down, you might need to say a prayer. Anything that's going to get you back to your center is what you need to do. So take a time out, take a deep breath, walk away from the situation. Tell your partner, you know what, we do need to discuss this, but not right now. Give me some time, I'll get back to you. That can actually cool down the situation, no matter who was the hothead in the situation. doesn't matter who the hothead was. One of you guys have to take responsibility for making sure that the relationship is cohesive and together, running smoothly. So take a deep breath, I'm sorry, take a deep breath and a time out is the very first thing. The next thing, which is number two, is don't let this issue linger and or fester. Take a time out, take a deep breath. You know, some of us, it might take a few hours where we could calm down and then come back. Some of us, it might take us a day or even two. Whatever your time that's needed for you to calm down and get yourself centered. Think about what actually happened, where you can focus and be able to clearly get out what it is that you need to say to your partner with understanding and love because you don't want to come off as being very abrasive or in your face or as a matter of fact this the way it is it's my way or the highway like nobody's paying attention to that like nobody is saying you know what i can hear what they're trying to say i understand completely i love my partner i want to make them happy this can work which right there that right there was the compromise anyway so don't let this linger or fester. After your cool down period, go back, address the issue, and compromise. All right? The third thing is when you do go back and address the issue, stick to the facts. Bring about this much, um, uh, bring about this much emotion into what you have to say. And that is when you're saying, hey, you did this. This is the way that it made me feel. I don't like it. Not, you need to be doing this. You can't tell me how to do this. You can't tell me how to do that. I'm not doing anything. All the net action and everything is going on. Like, nobody's paying attention to any of that. When all of that is occurring, you are being shut out. Like, when that happens to me, I completely shut down. Or, depending on, depending on the day, you might get it right back. And I know that that's not right. That's not helping anything. Um, none of us are perfect. So if the majority of the time you can take that walk, take that deep breath, that time out, but not let it fester. So by the time you come back, you are in your center. You can stick to the facts and get to your points and your partner will be able to understand you that much easier. All right. So the last thing is for you to fight fairly. Don't bring up past fights or sensitive information that your partner told you in confidence. This is one of the things that can really break down a relationship. It really can because anytime I feel like I want to open up to you, guess what I'm going to feel like you're going to be doing to me? You're going to be counting the moments where you can just throw it in there. Well, this is why you used to do this. This is why you used to get beat up. This is why I don't like you. This is why. This why, this, this, yeah, that's, that's you just spewing everything that I told you in confidence. You throwing it in my face. And that's just not right. That's not right. And it also makes me shut down. And it also starts to build that wall in between us. If you don't want the wall and I tell you something in confidence, don't throw it back up in my face. If there's something that you need to discuss about it, that you need clarification on, during another fight is not the time to bring that up. You need to pick a time for us to have a discussion about that issue. All right. So 
As always, take these things into consideration and incorporate them into your own relationships. As I've told you guys before, I am working on an online program. I'm actually working on three online programs. Um, I will be releasing them within three to six months. So look out for those so you can support your girl. If this is your first time to my channel, definitely hit that red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And of course, share this on all of your social media. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Two fingers salute.